Hey, cute stuff. Hey, welcome to another message here with me, Duchess, where we're going to find out everything you need to know right here, right now. So just remember, baby, this is a general collective message. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. And yes, in fact, this is a timeless reading. So we're going to start off with my favorite nosy, nosy Kipper deck because we're going to find out the real deal. Spirit, give us insight here for the collective. Oh, there we go. There we go. What we starting off with? We got the courtship card. Okay, now let's hope this is positive info about a courtship, but we're going to see, baby, <laughs> courtship. What is this? What is this? We got imprisonment. Okay, what's going on? Tell us more. Tell us more here. We got here false person. Mm, there's, <laughs> this is crazy. We got the distant horizons. We're going to pull one more, one more, Ooh, two more. See, <sighs> yes. Okay, so there's a person that has been acting shady and shifty in the past that you used to mess with or you know you try not to mess with this person because they they shady they false they you know no good okay but this person seems to be thinking about coming back around because we got here that we got this courtship okay but this person this false person is imprisoned in thoughts of you they imprison in their mind about your connection getting you back or making things work this person's mind is going a thousand miles per hour i'm hearing their mind is going around the clock okay 24 7 they thinking of ways here to get into your good graces because this person does not like the fact that there's been some sort of ending here Okay, so this person is imprisoned here in in thinking about you and the connection. So spirit is saying somewhere here off in the horizons, somewhere off in the horizons. For some of you, this could be sooner than later. For some of you, you know, they might take their little sweet time to get to you. But ultimately, it's saying that whatever ending that happened, they're ready now for a new beginning. Okay, they're ready to get back to that energy of the lovers. Okay, so whatever ending has happened, this person is not wanting this ending but at the same time they was being a false person so i don't understand here like how you can think you could be a false person and be shady and shifty and then feel like endings won't occur like what did you think was going to happen tell us more here spirit give us insight about this shady person that is trying to get back towards the collective we got here the magician. So, yeah, this person is trying to think of ways to concoct a plan. Okay. Let's see, cards want to fly out. That's a lot, baby. We're going to take the one that flew on the table. For some, some, some sort of good time with the four of wands. So this person is trying to think of a plan to lure you in here with offering some sort of a good time. So this could be some sort of a date. It could be a celebration. This could be some continuing energy, maybe trying to offer some sort of commitment because the four of wands could be that as well. It looks like this person is trying to offer you maybe, you know, a trip, a travel or something. This person is trying to offer you something that they feel would be a good offering to get back into your good graces. Yeah. Ace of Swords, okay? They want to overcome any past challenges and obstacles, but it's like, okay, well, did they do any work to overcome obstacles and challenges besides coming with an offering? Like, did they work on their false person energy? You know what I'm saying? Did they work on their negativity? Did they work on who they are? That's what we need to ask because, yeah, we know what they want to do, but we need to know the facts. Is this person working on themselves? Are they still a false person? Are they still shifty? Like, what's going on with that? We got here the nine of pentacles. Mm. See, this person, they not working on themselves. What Spirit is saying is they watching you, okay? They're watching you live your best life or they're thinking about you or reflecting on you, looking at pictures of you. There's something here where they're thinking about how you doing the thing on your own, how you doing the damn thing on your own, how you good, how you independent, how you don't really need them, how you not focused on them. Spirit is saying you don't see here that this is stressing this person out. This is stressing this person out. Okay, so it's like they can't really think about working on themselves because they're too busy thinking about what you're doing. Okay, they're thinking about who you might be with. Do you really want them back? Can y'all talk it out? How you feeling? Like this person is so focused on getting you back and what you're doing that they're not focused on their healing. Uh-uh, I don't like this kind of energy. We got here an ace of coins. So they still are coming in with some sort of offering for sure. 
And they want to move away from dark times, away from them dark clouds, baby, to lighter times. But it's like, well, if you didn't do any internal work, how can you move from dark times to light times? But this person is insisting y'all going to move from dark times to light times. Yeah, they want to bring justice in, okay? So it looks like this person is trying here to bring in some sort of justice. They want to plant seeds here for a better future here. Uh-huh. Because they've had some sort of awakening or, or they've went through some sort of period of reflection. Now, what I got to say, baby, is please use your discernment, boo. Okay. Now, for some of you, maybe this person can, you know, get a little bit better, do a little bit better. But use your discernment. If, if it's all talk and no action, if it's all offers and no follow through, you get what I'm saying? If it's all what I'm going to do, but then I'm still being fake and fraud and phony. Uh, you might want to think again about this person, okay? Because all they're going to do is give you headaches and migraines and stress. And it's like, we got enough problems in this lifetime without extra stress from people's nonsense. Tell us more here about this person spirit. Why are we getting this message? Give us insight here. See, yeah, again, this person wants a new beginning. They want a new beginning. Ay -ay -ay. I'm like, they keep talking about this new beginning, but... Are, uh, is this okay let's talk, let's ask this question will this new beginning be good and positive for the collective will this be something that elevates their life is 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 healthy we got here a three of cups okay we got here emotional loss <laughs> We got here the foundation of achievements, which is the four of wands again. I'm laughing because obstacles and challenges. I almost feel like this person's energy is taking over the reading because none of the questions I'm asking is getting answered. And quite frankly, this is saying here that this person wants to have a new beginning and good times with you again. Okay, that they want to have a sense of family or unity with you that they're an emotional loss they're stressed they want to overcome all the obstacles and challenges they're so sick and sad you get what i'm saying like this is all about how this person is feeling and about how you know they want to fix things okay do they see where them being false and being shady has created issues does this person see where they've created problems in this connection they do see it by you moving on, okay? Because when you turn your back on them, this helps them see that. It helps them realize that, you know, maybe I'm messing up a little bit. But it's not from the internal. It's from your reactions that makes them realize they mess it up, okay? Tell us more. Uh-huh. Yeah, whenever you rest on this person yet again. So, this is somebody that's hard-headed, I see, okay? They don't really see what they do wrong unless you turn your back on them. They don't really see what they do wrong unless you, you know, have to shut everything down, cut things off. Like, this person, you have to take extreme measures to get them to understand, hey, you treating me dirty. Hey, you not doing right. Hey, step up your game. Like, it's like you got to be extreme here because this person, the only way they learn is if you turn your back on them. So now this person is learning that when you turn your back on them, now they got to sit around and obsess over you and obsess over ways to get things back on track and what they can offer and how they can fix it. So in a way, this teaches this person that, oh, well, if I act up, then I got to do all of this just to get my person back. You get what I'm saying? So it's like in an indirect way, it does teach them. But I just feel like this person's a little bit shallow. Like they have a hard time doing the inner work because every time I ask about that, Ain't nothing coming out saying they doing it. Yeah, and this is why. Because they're a control freak. This is exactly why the person's not doing the inner work. Rather than thinking about what they need to do to heal and fix, they're thinking about how to get the situation under control, okay? How to reel you back in. How to stop the obsessive thoughts. You get what I'm saying? It's like this person here is coming from a place of wanting to take control of the situation and fix things in the way that makes them happy, but they're not really going internal, which is really aggravating here because it's like the cycle is going to continue. This person's discontent with the way things are going, so it's making them feel like they need to take charge and make something happen. Yeah, they 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 want to have hope in what's, what's to come. So this is the problem here is that, yes, this person cares enough to try to 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 bring offerings of good tidings you get what i'm saying and all of that but this seems like you could possibly be going in a cycle with this person because it's not seeming like they really 
learning unless you leave them alone. So it's like going to be a step-by-step -step process. I mean, this could, I had to say this, people like this could take years, honey, but let's go ahead and keep talking about it. Let's keep talking about it. We got here the sun. Okay. We got here the moon. Ain't this just opposite energy? The sun, the moon, what? The ten of pentacles. See, this person here really is in their head a lot about this person is in their head a lot about wanting to create stability here but then it's like their ego gets in the way they they don't know how to follow through with what they do so it's like they'll get excited they'll try to fix things but then they get in their head and things crumble because they they don't know how to follow through hmm yeah so, again, we got this energy of this Eight of Cups where a spirit is saying at some point you would end up probably turning your back on this person again, right? Because this person, they try but don't, don't succeed, okay? Or they got a new offering all the time, but then we got to start back at, at square one. It's like they take two steps forward and then ten steps backward. And it's like you got to keep, you know, basically mothering and teaching and nurturing and fathering if you if you on the other end. Whatever you got to do to get this person to understand how to treat people, how to treat you at least. You get what I'm saying? So there's something here where this person is going to try. They don't give they all is what I heard, okay? They don't give they all, all right? But sometimes the all ain't enough. What did Brandy say? Almost doesn't count, baby. Okay, I want the real deal. Not the almost here, but it's not their fault. This is the problem, baby. They just they just a false person. They just phony, okay? They can't help it. Like, I'm hearing born this way. Don't blame it. Don't lie, okay? No, something in life made you a shady-ass person. But, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, boo, come hang out with me in my winter circle, my online exclusive community where we got exclusive content and coaching come hang out with me in my beautiful community baby the link is below you can also book a reading with me link is below i'm gonna talk to you later boo bye